I Like by Kojo Fans featuring Whiskey. This song is beautiful. I'm liking the way that you force it up on me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Power is giving me a migraine. The show is a weird one because the acting is so mediocre. It's so, ooh, but I'm still hooked. I absolutely hate wear stylists, especially for men. All these fast fashion brands such as Boohoo Man, ASOS, they're slacking severely. The fact that we're having an overload of slime green is just disgusting. Aww, I'm a classic man. You are welcome back to my channel, The Classic Manny. It is your boy and I am back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on my current phase from music, TV shows, styles, skincare, etc. I have not done this in a very long time, so I'm very excited to get into this. I wanna start by talking about my favorite artists and favorite songs at the moment. I wanna start off with Brie Runway. In case you don't know, Brie Runway is a British-born Ghanaian artist. I'd first heard of her a few years ago when I saw her perform songs in her room. I think there was one that I remember very well that actually resurfaced recently. I was like, wait, that was her? Yes, that was her. That's how I first heard of her, but I first heard of the name Brie Runway properly this year from someone that I followed for a long time. His at is Blue Kev. I want to put his at on the screen. Big shout out to you. So he had her EP B Runway, not Brie, B Runway. He had her EP as his Abby for a very long time. I was like, first of all, why does this person have a half black, half white face? <laughs> you know, I was so confused by the Abby. But obviously later when I found out, she was talking about how people feel like they have to dilute their blackness to fit in the media. So that's what her message is about, just trying to push through those barriers. So that's what I love about her, first of all. I saw a video go viral, it was a music video, and the song's called All Night. From the time I played that video, I have not stopped playing that song at least every single day. That song is a banger. It's like it has like a country undertone, but it's also like R&B and pop. Like, I just feel like she is destined for greatness. She is destined for greatness. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say other than that she's destined for greatness. I heard that song, went to go listen to the EP, and went to go listen to her whole entire catalogue. And I know we have to push her. She is amazing, gorgeous talented and i feel like her inspirations i believe are lady gaga i forgot the other artists that i read that she was inspired by my top three songs from her at the moment are big racks all night of course and what do i tell my friends i feel like what do i tell my friends is an older song though her creativity and her visuals and her music is just oh come on like by this time next year we need to push her like we have so much power as music consumers. I don't think that she's even someone that should be limited to black Twitter. She could be doing so much in different areas. I stand. I support her 100% and I look forward to seeing where she goes with her journey in music. The next artist I want to go into is Dolapo, who is a British R&B artist and I believe she's Nigerian. I came across her on social media when her song Something New featuring Hardy Caprio came out and that song's actually a Banker. Just like Brie Runway, I did not think Delapo was British. I thought maybe she was like African American. I did not think she was from this country. I was like, what? We have this talent here? We have this talent in this country and what are we doing? We're complaining about, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that, but we have it. We're just not pushing it enough. That was the first time I heard of her. Then I obviously followed her, just to keep up what she's doing. And she's actually very stunning. Gorgeous woman. Woo! She's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous then she released her ep changes and that ep is gorgeous it's a five track ep every single song is amazing in its own way i actually heard of another song called down featuring one of the guys from western um i think the name is lewis listen yeah names yeah i'm always butchering this I, I like to avoid saying names as much as possible just like how i saw certain things from brie runway but I didn't know it was her. That's why I didn't know the song Down was by her. And so I played the EP which is actually featured in. My favourite songs from the EP are I Swear, Parachute and of course Changes which is the title track of the EP. Her visual for Changes recently premiered on Grime Daily. I'll put the video in the card section above. Go and watch it, increase the views, listen to her EP. I highly recommend it. I recommend Free Runway and Dilepo, highly. Another artist I want to go into right now that I'm really loving is Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, 
it's so crazy because when I first got introduced to her, I was like, I don't want to be a fan of her. I'm obsessed. The thing about me is that I love people that are authentic and that are themselves. And that's how I can describe Megan Thee Stanley. Like, she is amazing. So I heard of Big Old Freak. Big Old Freak. Big, big, big old freak. Hey, I have to stop right before I get a copyright strike. The time that I was introduced to Megan Thee Stanley and through social media was between when she released Big Old Freak and her EP Fever. Fever? Oh my god, that is my go-to get ready project to listen to. I can't call it an album because it's not an album, but it's a, I call it a project because that's what it is, the EP project, whatever. That EP, fire. Absolute fire. It deserved that BET Hip Hop Award for Best Mixtape. Was it Best Mixtape or Best EP? Whatever. It deserved that award for Best Mixtape at the BET Hip Hop Awards. Oh my god, I have not stopped playing it since it is crazy i've got a few favorites on fever so my favorites on fever are hood rat shit cash shit oh she loves her shit all right simon says money good and dance those are my favorites at the moment like absolute bangers i'm gonna talk about my favorite songs at the moment and i will start off with certain songs from the lion king the gift album it's not really my favourite album. If you don't know, the album was curated by Beyonce, but it features a lot of artists such as Tiwa Savage, Burna Boy, Yemi Alade, Mr. Easy, so many other artists. Um, Shata Wale. Come on, Ghana. Ghana Power. So, my favourite songs from the EP are the Burna Boy song, Jara. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm just saying it from how he says it in the song. Keys to the Kingdom by Tiwa Savage. I love Already. Um, Beyonce and Shata Wale. Um, My Power. It has various artists. The last two songs I want to get into are from UK male artists. Weston has not dropped a rubbish song since Into. My favourite song at the moment right now is Night and Day. That song is so beautiful. Like, what? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Hayley, his voice is gold. Very beautiful song. I need to listen to the EP because people have recommended the EP. I've heard certain songs from the EP, but I need to listen to it as a whole. The last song that I want to talk about is I Like by Kojo Fans. Featuring Whiskey. I tweeted about this and I said the way he carries that song as a lead artist is just chef's kiss. My fellow Ghanaian, what? This song is beautiful. I'm liking the way that you fall sit up on me. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm liking you. I'm liking your ways. Hey, way hey. <laughs> and I said, he carried the song so well that he didn't really need Whiskey like that. But it is really good. I do recommend that song. That song's a 10 out of 10. Sticking with the theme of entertainment, I want to go into TV shows. And I want to talk about two. I want to start off with talking about power. I'll give you guys a timestamp if I do spoil anything about the show. The show is a weird one because the acting is so mediocre. It's so... Ooh, but I'm still hooked. I think it's just a loyalty to be honest because... The acting is so average and it gets worse after every episode but I think the script is getting better so it makes it very hard to let go of the show. If a show is rubbish I'm not going to dedicate any more time to it because of loyalty, it's tiring. So much has happened in the past few episodes, I might spoil it so I want to give that a timestamp now. Skip to that timestamp, I want to give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Tasha! <laughs> Tasha is mad with no one to tell her. Oh, she's a ride or die mom. She's a mom that wants to do anything for her child. No, a lie. I know mothers that have done the most for their kids. She is doing a madness. I don't think it's a good kind of madness either. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. Why are you allowing Tariq to go into the game? Like, Ghost doesn't want him to go into the game. Why are you introducing him to the game? It's just, oh. Jesus, it's too much. I, I'm shaking in my Wellington boots right now. What? Unbelievable. Lakeisha is played by Lala, and Lala Anthony is a rubbish actress. Very beautiful, I'll give her that. But her acting is shat. It is shat. Like, what? Her acting is appalling. Good God. Someone said the best effort that she put in was when she played dead. <laughs> What makes the show even more addicted to watch is Twitter's reaction to it. Twitter is just annoying sometimes. So Lakeisha gets shot by Tasha because Tasha finds out that Lakeisha was going to go and snitch on everybody. So Tariq, um, Tommy. Tommy is mad. Someone um, tweeted between Tommy versus Ghost, who is the worst? 
is Tommy. They're both bad people, but Tommy has no soul. The only time he had a soul was when he saw that he should dead on the floor. Power is giving me a migraine, just like how to get away with murder. I am so upset that he's on his last season because that is one of the shows where I can say that the acting was superb. Not just from Viola Davis, but from everybody involved in the show. The show was over me when Wes died, but the way this season has got, first of all, first of all, <laughs> I might spoil it again. Let me put a timestamp here. Three, two, one. The official How To Get Away Murder Twitter account actually spoiled the first episode and the whole season for us. I think the way they're trying to direct this season, I don't like it. I know from previous seasons, they put the end at the beginning and then they work their way to the middle where you see how the end happened in the middle, then it continues. But it didn't need to do that for this season because you've now spoiled the whole show for us. The whole show is spoiled. Well, I say no. You spoiled it. I'm speaking to you right now. I was very irritated by that. I still feel like I'm going to be hoodwinked in a few episodes from now. I just know they're playing a game with us. They are playing us like a violin and I'm tired. I am tired of being played like this. I am tired, man. It's too much, you know? But yeah, but I just love the accent on the show. I'm going to miss it so much. Who do you think, quote unquote, kills Annalise? <laughs> I now want to go into style and I want to start off by talking about style today. I absolutely hate where style is at, especially for men. All these fast fashion brands such as Boohoo Man, ASOS, they are slacking severely. I feel like style today is very based on trends than actually creating something innovative for men. I hate that slime green shit. I feel like I have two items in my wardrobe where they're slime green, but it's not overly slime. It's not overly slimy as in it's probably like just the detail. The fact that we're having an overload of slime green is just disgusting. I feel like a lot of these Boohoo Man Asos are looking like AliExpress clothing. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. It's very rare to find good pieces. You have to go deep into these websites to find good pieces. Comment below if you agree with what I'm saying or if you can relate, even as a man or a woman. Where do you even shop in the first place? Because at this point, I'm running out of options. I love my monochromatic looks. I like looks that are well put together, colours that are not blinding my eyes. Like, this slime green shit is annoying. But with all that being said, I got a recent piece from ASOS. This is called the ASOS Design Regular Map Print Shirt. I wore this for the Vitae London party and it was very different. A lot of buttons were unbuttoned. I absolutely love it. I got the size medium and the way it looks on the model is very long line in terms of like the length. But I tucked it in and just puffed out the shirt a little bit bigger, a little bit more puffy. I did catch a cold wearing this shirt for the VTA party. Cold never get cold, where's the Cardi B? So that is that. So the last style item I want to go into is from VT London. I have been aware of VT London for a very long time through social media. Just to give you a little background on VT London, from its name you can tell VT is a UK based watch and accessories company founded by William Adwasi. I know that he's a fellow Ghanaian and I pray I said his name correctly. I was extremely honoured and Quite shocked when I got an email from them saying that they want me to be a part of their influencer campaign. I was like, Padding, who me? <laughs> so I did the shoot a month or two ago. I think it was a month or two ago. I think it was late August. Yeah, so I think it's almost two months ago. During the shoot, I'm allowed to take one watch home, and that was the warmer in the color rose gold. And this watch is stunning. I've reviewed watches from other companies. This is a whole other level, and I'm high key eyeing that emerald watch, the new one. Oh my god, that watch is beautiful from the season five. Oh my god, I don't have it. I don't think it's even being sold at the moment because it's um a Kickstarter right now, so the product will be out a month or two from now. It was an absolute honor to have my picture up with other influencers and personalities at the launch. I wasn't ready for that. Before I even go further, big shout out to Aya and Oluchi for just being so amazing. Aluchi is their PA and Aya is also the photographer for Vitae and they were just so amazing. I felt so comfortable. I have put an exclusive behind the scenes on my Instagram. I don't think I want to post it here. So go and follow me on Instagram, go and watch that, go and see the amazing people, all that good shit. And I'm very grateful once again to William and to everyone that's a part of the team for having me be a part of the family. I appreciate it. So I'm now going to go into skincare and the first one I want to talk about is the Hydro Boost 
Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Glow Pot. This shit right here is amazing. It looks small. Look at my, compared to my hair size. It looks very small. I use one full drop and like a teensy wincy bit of another drop for my entire face and it does enough for me. So my normal routine was face mask and scrub for at least two times a week and every day I would do the wash, the cleanser, the toner and I added this, this oh, I added this <laughs> oh, this does wonders it's such a little bottle but it's going to last you a long time because all you need is one pump don't be like me, I actually use three pumps I have been looking for a product that includes hyaluronic acid and I wanted the glow pot to release a product with it when I got I was like hey this bottle is very small that was my first realistic reaction so it's like this bottle is very small like if i compare it to let me get myself here. if i compare it to the enzyme rich gel cleanser that's the difference in size if i compare those two together i used the first night the three pumps that i used was too much one pump and a little drop is enough for my big head i've got a big i've got a big ass head okay so <laughs> boy what this does to my skin oh my jesus stop it like <sighs> it's it's too much <laughs> orgasmic this with what i use on my day to day is fantabulous the last product i want to show you is this brush from a company called spa retreat i've shown you this in my last cell sundays video and what i love about this brush is the fact that it makes applying masks so much easier way easier that is that so that is the final product i have for you guys today so let me know in the comment section below if you can relate to my favorites if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to share with your friends as well and don't forget to always do you and be unapologetic